two custom memory modes that come on your A7 III are a great function and they're a really good way of saving lots of different settings. You might photograph different genres of photography and there might be a lot of settings in the camera that you change for each of these genres. And this is where custom memory modes come into play. I normally have my astrophotography settings on number one, my sports photography settings on number two, and if I'm shooting landscapes, I'll use manual mode. This means when I go out and shoot the stars, I switch my mode dial to number one and I have pretty much all of my settings ready to go. On the other hand, when I'm shooting sports, I'll switch it to number two. When you use these custom memory modes, you do have to dial in your three principal settings on the day, but everything else is pretty much there. So this is how I do it. Set your camera up to the settings you want. In this example, I'll change my settings for astrophotography. I'll set it to manual mode, put it on 15 seconds, Aperture f2.8, ISO 2000. I'll set the self timer to two seconds, my white balance to incandescent, manual focus. I'll set it to raw and uncompressed and I'll switch PP to off. You can set many more functions, but for this example, this is all I'm gonna change. Once you have the settings you want, go to menu one, three out of 14, select memory. If you scroll down, you can see how many different things you can save in this mode. You also have four other memory slots. I just use one and two. As I'm saving my settings for astrophotography, I'll save it to number one. Now, when I go to a night photo shoot, all I need to do is switch my mode dial to number one and select the memory slot and the camera is all set up for astrophotography. I already have my camera set up in number two for sports. So when I'm at a sporting event, all I do is switch it to number two and then dial in my principal settings. You can save pretty much any setting that you want in the camera and it'll store them in one of these memory slots when you register it in that slot. To use M1 to M4, just select that slot when saving. And then when you switch to either one or two on the mode dial, just press right on your D-pad and select the memory slot you saved your settings to. You'll see it's marked on the display on the back of the camera when you're taking photographs. The only downside to shooting with these custom memory modes is that if you've set it to manual mode and you change your settings, and let's say you switch to aperture priority, take some photos, and then switch back to the memory mode, it'll revert back to the saved custom settings. Therefore, if you change your aperture, your shutter speed, or your ISO, you'll then have to change these once again for the new conditions. This is only a minor problem, so when you're shooting in memory mode, just take this into consideration. If you want to see more videos, subscribe and turn on notifications. Also, head over to my YouTube channel where I have a growing library of tutorials. I'll see you in the next one.